let's cover herbs. Uh, it's time to put the herb gardens in. I think it's time to put potatoes and onions and garlics and rhubarb and asparagus. It is time. In fact, you're starting to run out of time on some of those things. So you want to put your root crops in now. You could start by seed, your, your radishes, your carrots. They can all be going in now. All of your early spring vegetables and flowers, they need to go in now. I mean, don't protect them. Plant them right in the gardens and enjoy the color. Start harvesting spinach like right now because it's time. If you're waiting to put potatoes in, we've got lots of crops, lots of varieties of potatoes. So purples, the reds, the regular russets, those could all be put in the ground right now. Um, at some point I should put a, do a, do a show on or a segment on just how to grow potatoes. It's so easy and so fun. Oh my gosh. And there's nothing better than a fresh potato you just planted in the ground. It's just amazing. Anyway, uh, but this, this segment, I want to cover herbs. Herbs are, I think they grow better here than anywhere else in the country. So if you, in the Midwest and the South, you get some, some humidity, things that happen, they get leaf spot and some mildews, some melting problems. Uh, in, in the more rainy areas like the Northwest, same thing. They just, they like bright sun. Herbs need at least six hours of sun or more. So the more sun, the better they are. So they just love this and they like cool nights. And so the, the, the flavor and the fragrance will come out of your herbs when they're, when they're dry, when they're cool at night, bright during the day. This is just everything about the mountains. Herbs love to grow here. And, and most of them are perennial. That is, they'll come back year after year. You're planting them once and you harvest them for years. So sage, oregano, lavenders, curry, mint. These are all things. Thyme. I have an entire lawn of nothing but thyme, creeping thyme. It's just wonderful. And they come back year after year after year. They're just easy, easy to grow. Probably one of the easiest plants. And if you're out in that, in that uh, wildland interview, you've got antelope right there in the Paquito Valley up in that, you know, up at the base of the Bradshaws or, or you're out in the forest of, of Hazley and Copper Basin up that, up or that ridge line. You've got wildlife everywhere. It's ridiculous. You're surrounded. Your neighbors are feeding the javelina. Yours, you don't stand a chance, but herbs you do. Herbs, they don't like herbs. They don't like the flavor of herbs. They don't like the taste of herbs. You would think they would. We enjoy them so much. But animals, they don't like the flavor. Maybe they'll eat a little bit of, of, of fennel. They might eat a little bit of basil, but they don't like thyme and oregano and curries and lavenders flat out. You can put them right in the middle unless they're bedding in them. Then they're not eating them. They're just squishing them while they root them around and make a, make a bed in their whatever. So they're, they're, they're a good plant. For They take our wind. They take our sun. They take our alkalinity. Our, our, our water is just makes it more difficult to grow things here in the mountains of Arizona. And that's all of us, whether you're tuned in from the White Mountains, Flagstaff, Camp Verde. I think all of Sedona came over last weekend to the garden centers. Camp Verde came over strong. Cornville, you, that side of the hill just kind of went, okay, it's time to garden. I think what it is, it was noticeable because you all are just a click warmer than we are here. And all it took, and you've been pent up as well. I think they just all got in the car and went, we're going over the hill. We're hitting Trader Joe's and Costco and Waters Garden Center. We're going to do some plant gardening. So it's kind of fun to see that. And we're very familiar with that, that part of the state, this whole central highlands. Uh, so we're from Seligman and Kingman. Kingman. You all are represented because you come over for the VA and I think some shopping. You don't have a great garden center there. And so you're coming over. We're kind of that last first or last business. You come into town. You just hit us on the way out. So I love it when you share where you're from. Please say hi because it's interesting for us. It just makes it it's just it's just fun. I don't know. It's part of I get to hear the stories and what's going on. That's what I love about retail. Yes, we're selling plants, but. Really, it's a people relationship thing. And you just get to talk to folks and hear where they're from and what's going on. So just interesting how this year is kind of playing out a little differently. Herbs. I think you are time. There, there's, there's a season for it. And right now is the season to plant herbs. All except for maybe basil. 
That's a summer plant. It doesn't like the frost or any kind of cold at all, but oregano loves it. Mint needs it. Lavender thrives in it. And so you want to plant those things right now. I would say plant them. Don't cover them. Just leave them exposed. Give them more sunlight. They want morning till evening sun. The secret, the insider tips for herbs. And it's just, it's just me. Okay, so this is, my name is Ken. We're just friends. We're talking over the back fence. And this is kind of working in my backyard. I think it's going to work in yours as well. Um, they, they like to be a rich garden soil. They thrive better. They flush. So these are very fast growing plants. They like to be cut. Don't let your herbs go to seed. So don't let basils or oregano or thyme or we keep, keep, they like to be cut back often. They're kind of like a lawn. You're harvesting the, the rich, tender, new foliage. That's where the best flavor comes out. So go for that. So the more you cut on them, it's almost like they get better as, as you cut on them. So don't be afraid to harvest, pick off foliage, harvest stems, using them. Even if you're not going to use it, just cut it back and, and compost it or just add it. What I'll do is I'll add it to, to, to in the barbecue I'll just have them there kind of roasting, adding aroma to the chicken or to the pork chop on the barbecue. Uh, sometimes I'll harvest barbecues, long stems of my, my rosemary. There's a variety, Tuscan blue or barbecue rosemaries. These are real long stems. I'll take a long stem. I'll strip off the foliage except for the very end. And I use them as a, as a skewer. So I'll just skewer the, I'll take this rosemary stem and I'll use it to uh, have shish kebabs on the Barbie, and it just has this flavor that goes from the inside out. It's like magic. Oh my gosh. We love rotisseries. And so I will take a, uh, a, a pork chop or, or, or a, a, a tenderloin, and I'll have it on the rotisserie on the grill. I'll have a, a, a saucer underneath that, usually a, a pan of some sort with some water. And I just go pick my herbs and I'll, I'll sprinkle that so that it's it's actually there brewing underneath the meats and it just comes out. It's nice for me when I'm grilling on the back patio, but it's also, it adds that flavor to my, whatever I'm grilling. It's just great sprinkle on, on top of zucchinis. It just, it's a wonderful way. Herbs are so, if you're buying herbs from the grocery store, oh, you are missing out. Fresh herbs are better and way cheaper to grow. I mean, no, oh my gosh, you can do this yourself and it's free at that point for years to come. It's a great way to go. The other one I noticed too, and again, it's just, there's, there's some personal experiences. The flavor of my herbs are better when they're on the dry side. And so for my vegetables, like tomatoes and cucumbers and eggplants, I, I harvest those early morning because they're better when they're plump and full early in the morning. Not so with herbs. Herbs taste better. There's more flavor. There's more, there's more aroma to them if you pick them in the heat of the day. So I'll wait until 10, 11, 12 o'clock in the day. At the end of the day, two, three, four, they, the flavor is better on my herbs when I'm waiting till they're just on the dry side. So don't water them and then harvest. Let them go dry and then take a blow dryer to them. The flavor will be better at that point. You just, you'll notice it. You'll have this, this flavor to it. Another one too, um, just while I'm on a kick, while I'm on my, I'm on a rant, here we go. Uh, uh, oregano is, I, I use that, that one often. Uh, I'll use that as a replacement for cilantro in my pico de gallo. It has a really deep, rich, spicy flavor to it. But sometimes oregano's, too spicy. So in, in its place, I use sweet marjoram. It's, it's like it has an oregano flavor, but it's always sweet. So if you need that sweeter side for sautés and stuff, boy, look at sweet marjoram. It is so delicious. But it's time. You can garden. You can put your herbs in. Start with those. Put them in because they're going to be perennial. So think through where can I put them and have them stay. I don't have to, I don't have to turn the soil. A rototiller is going to get them. Just get them where they they're they're in for years, not just a season. You can plant herbs in your backyard. It's so easy to grow them. If you need help, we're here for you. Be glad to help you. Right back after this. Mm -hmm.